accident and emergencies have been the deadliest cause for the alarmingly rising deaths and delays in the country. There has been a significant paradigm shift noticed in the disease pattern due to the epidemiological and demographic transition in various states. Among the diseases of development injury is the leading cause of preventable premature mortality with 65.1% daily loss due to road traffic injuries. A multi-pronged systems approach is the way forward to curtail the unprecedented rise in road traffic injuries, such that various sectors like the road transport and highways, police, law, education, health and public sectors interact effectively for the successful rollout of the policy. Tamil Nadu contributes the second largest share after Uttar Pradesh with 11.4% of road traffic deaths in the country, though it had been experiencing a surge in road traffic injuries due to the meticulous effort undertaken by the various stakeholders under the Tamil Nadu Accident and Emergency Care Initiative and other departments concerned there has been a 24.4% dip noted in the road traffic fatalities. The road traffic deaths has significantly reduced from 16,157 deaths in 2017 to 12,216 deaths in 2018. The Tamil Nadu Accident and Emergency Care Initiative encompasses the six pillars namely, trauma, which includes road traffic injuries, fall, and assault, myocardial infractions which include STEMI and non-STEMI, cerebrovascular accidents, accidental and deliberate poisoning which includes self-harm, burns, and pediatric emergencies. Thai aims to strengthen pre-hospital and hospital and rehabilitation care in the state by setting up proper institutional framework, with the Mission Director National Health Mission designated as the Commissioner of Trauma Care, District Collectors as the Chairman. Infrastructure, Equipment, Human Resources, Standard Operating Protocols, and Guidelines, Capacity Building, quality of care, research methodologies and inbuilt monitoring and evaluation protocols have been designed. 78 Thai centers which include 26 government medical college, 31 district headquarters hospitals and 21 government hospitals located in strategic locations along the highways, have been identified across the state as Thai network hospitals. The hospital trauma nodal officers or the trauma nurse coordinator on duty send the real-time trauma census from their hospitals through the Thai app, which has been designed to understand the burden of injuries in the state. The version 2 will include all emergencies and thereby pave way for the state registry. Every hour 38 individuals have been killed due to unintentional injuries. 35.1% due to traffic accidents. 4.4% due to drowning, 2.5% due to accidental fire, 2.5% due to falls and 31.9% individuals due to intentional injuries. STEMI in Tamil Nadu records an annual mortality of 7-18%, to similarly stroke. All these emergencies disproportionately kill and maim the economically productive age group, leaving behind many with significant sequel. It leads to physical, mental and psychosocial impairment, bringing huge catastrophic expense to the family, crashing down its peace and security. The golden hour following any accident or emergency is vital and the government of Tamil Nadu has been involved in developing multiple technology-based innovations to enhance the response time, by installation of a Vassar M108 user app, service mapping of trauma centers, priority-based ambulance dispatch. GIS mapping of accidents, dynamic allocation of ambulances based on GPS, introduction of advanced paramedic in ambulances and emergency stabilization centers. All ambulance EMT have been trained in proper emergency management techniques and equipped appropriately to triage and provide pre-arrival intimation to the nearest equipped eye centers, such that the right patient is treated at the right place by the right person within the right time. The trauma nurse coordinator on duty receives the PI and calls out for the appropriate code blue. As the patient's crucial period is being spent in the emergency room, Proper trauma reception and resuscitation is being practiced. Under the Tamil Nadu Accident and Emergency Care Initiative the existing casualty, triage ward, 
Zero Delay Ward, have been reorganized and renamed as Emergency Department, such that the initial phases of hospital care of all patients requiring emergency medical and surgical care are attended here. The Emergency Department comprises of an emergency room with, triage zone, resuscitation bay, red zone, yellow zone, and green zone. The entire process flow in the ED has been redefined with emphasis on team concept, pre-arrival intimation, duty trauma nurse coordinator to oversee the ER at all times, hospital codes, concept of triage, green channel CT for patients suspected with stroke, application of Philadelphia collar and pelvic binders and trauma, uniform position of drugs and consumables in crash carts, E-FAST, mobile x-ray, point of care testing, EMLC, EOT and uniform for ER healthcare personnel. A multidisciplinary critical care unit near emergency department serves as an ICU to manage patients with polytrauma. Since the inception of type, there has been significant change in the attitude of healthcare personnel thereby reaping good outcome. A 24.4% dip has been noted in the road traffic fatalities, and hospitals outcomes at Thai centers have also been good. At Rajiv Gandhi Government General Hospital, after Thai being inaugurated on Jan 10, 2018, the process flow in ER has been streamlined as evidenced by reduction in mortality due to trauma from 8.3% to 2.71% Jan to December 2018. The non-trauma mortality has also simultaneously reduced by 2%. Similarly the mortality census from other Thai centers also record improved care and outcome at their respective hospitals. Thai has definitely lived up to its mission of saving lives by proving it is only an organizational change and not an infrastructural one.